Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I'm Father Steve Sellers and thank you so much for tuning in today for this brief daily message of hope. And on this Thanksgiving day in the year 2020, I just want to wish you a blessed day today. And I hope that you are having uh, time for rest uh, and time to recollect on the wonderful things that God has done for us uh, in our lives. Uh, often we get so caught up in the negative things of life and we are really encouraged to do that by a lot of the forces in this world today who uh, make their living on fear uh, and anger. Uh, but today, let this be a different day. Focus on what blessings God has given to you as a family, uh, you as a person, as an individual, and as our nation as a whole. Uh, we are so torn up today by so many different things in the year that will not end that we forget that God is still in charge. Uh, and he is the one who's brought us here in safety to this day. Those of us who are here today are here because of his will for us to be here. He wants us to be here. Uh, and the very best thing we can do today is to just give him thanks and praise. And, you know, I can think of really no better way uh, to remember this day and to focus on what it means for us and to remember how it started. Uh, not so much in the, the, the 1600s when, you know, our forefathers uh, and mothers got here, uh, but on the, as a nation, as we came together um, in the 1770s and 1780s. And I want to read just a few words from uh, the, the Thanksgiving proclamation that was given by uh, President George Washington on October the 3rd in 1789. And here's what uh, Washington said, and it still uh, rings true for us today. Whereas it is the duty of all nations to acknowledge the providence of Almighty God, to obey his will, to be grateful for his benefits, and humbly to implore his protection and favor. And whereas both houses of Congress have by their joint committee requested me to recommend to the people of the United States a day of public thanksgiving and prayer to be observed by acknowledging with grateful hearts the many signal favors of Almighty God, especially by affording them an opportunity peaceably to establish a form of government for their safety and happiness. Now, therefore, I do recommend and assign Thursday, the 26th day of November next, to be devoted by the people of these states to serve to the service of that great and glorious being, who is the beneficent author of all the good that was, that is, and that will be, that we may then all unite in rendering unto him our sincere and humble thanks for his kind care and protection of the people of this country previous to their becoming a nation, for the signal and manifold mercies and the favorable interpositions of his providence which we experience in the course and conclusion of the late war, for the great degree of tranquility, union, and plenty, which we have since enjoyed, for the peaceable and rational manner in which we have been enabled to establish constitutions of government for our safety and happiness, and particularly the national one now lately instituted, for the civil and religious liberty with which we are blessed, and the means we have of acquiring and diffusing useful knowledge, and in general for all the great and various favors which he hath been pleased to confer upon us. Then he concludes by saying, we are to promote the knowledge and practice of true religion and virtue and the increase of science among them and us, and generally to grant unto all mankind such a degree of temporal prosperity as he alone knows to be best. So we began this tradition of Thanksgiving uh, with uh, President Washington in October of 1789 and uh, to remember uh, why we're here and especially to remember who brought us here. And now more than ever, we need to remember that, it's God, that it is God who brought us here uh, and has preserved us in safety to this day and to give him thanks and praise. And my simple prayer for you today 
is that you're able to experience God's presence with you right now, wherever you are. And if you're alone or by yourself, know that you're not alone and you're not by yourself. For the same God who brought you safe, safely to this new day is with you right now and with all of us. And so let us give him thanks and praise. And I hope that your day today is blessed, restful, uh, and that it's filled with joy. And know that the joy of the Lord is with you. And with his grace and mercy, I will see you right here again tomorrow. Happy Thanksgiving and God bless you.